I will do like a, a split, split screen. screen. Yeah. I will do like this one, this one, this one, whatever. Okay, so, and we'll just keep like. It, it, and after after we say it, we should just rank them. <laughs> Wait, what? Rank them. Oh. So. All right, welcome to the Rick and Rod Show. I'm Rick. I'm Rod. All right, so here we're gonna do a little bit some something a little bit different today. Um, Rod and I, we've listened to music for quite some time, had a chance to listen to different singers, different performers, different guitarists, different drummers, and uh, today we're going to do our, each of our, not together, each of our top five uh, guitarists, not necessarily in order. I think I'm going to do mine in order. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not doing mine in order. Don't do yours in order, but I'm going to do mine in order. mine in order. What are we basing this on? Oh wow! What do you want to base? No, it's our own favorites. For it's, me, it's just it's, it's our own favorites. Favorites, you yeah. Know? It's uh, for me, it's like whoever I want to just sit down and have the best sound system, and I just want to like if I can like lay on the floor and just like listen to them and just like like especially on a uh, surround sound and just feel like I'm like in the middle and like at the concert like listening to a great guitarist with good solos and uh, with a uh, very um, broad talent. Uh, well, I, th I think for me, my guitar player, my favorite guitarist, though, they're in some. It seems like there's so many different genres. Yeah. You know, so it's not like, you know. Oh yeah. So you, it, 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 I can't just say my favorite of all time, but in one sense, I can. But the, yeah. You know, the the others, it's just like, dude, they're, they're good at that. They're good at that. They're good at that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I am curious all if right. any of ours are going to be the same. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I really am. Holy we're gonna God. We're going to post... We're going to post... We might even do like a clip or something like that, but we're going to post the names. I will do like a, a split, split screen. screen. Yeah. I will do like this one, this one, this one, whatever. Okay, so... And we'll just keep like... It, it, and after, after we say it, we should just rank them. <laughs> Wait, what? Rank them. Oh. So like you tell me and then we'll just... We'll, we'll rank all of them? Yeah, we'll rank them all. All right. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go back and forth. I'll yeah. let you go first. You let me go first. I will let you go first, Rick. Who's your Who's your favorite guitar player? All right, I'll start with this one. This is just uh, one that I grew up with. So uh, my first one, Eddie Van Halen. Dude, that could that was that was my sixth one that I was gonna pick. Okay, so I I want you to look this up if you don't know it already. Know what? Okay. When Wes Borland left Limp Bizkit, Eddie Van Halen went to jam with them to see if he was going to be the next guy um, playing with Limp Bizkit. Did you know that? Eddie Van Halen tr tried out for Limp Bizkit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude, you're full of it. Yeah. So they got into a fight. They got Who in, got into a fight? The, they didn't get along. When they did the... They jammed together. And Eddie Van Halen... Yeah, yeah. Fred Dirt? Is yeah, that yeah, Fred Dirt? Yeah, yeah, Fred Dirt. So Eddie Van Halen. I might have the story wrong, but this is the way I remember it. Um, I did not know. Okay, so I don't know if you have, if you know, but like, uh, are you sure about that? Yes, I do. Eddie Van Halen has this like assault video vehicle, right? Right. No, I didn't know that either. Okay, so anyway, look it up. Google it. Okay, so anyway, so what happened is Eddie Van Halen left his stuff, basically left and left his stuff, or vice versa. No, it was Eddie Van Halen left his stuff at where they were jamming at, uh -huh. and then asked um, Fred Durst for his stuff back. And then they were like him and hawing around and stuff like that, and it was like, like, um, like it was, he felt like he wasn't gonna get his stuff back. So he actually went onto his lawn with the assault vehicle and said, give me back my shit. <laughs> Dude, I want you to look it up right now. Seriously. <laughs> Eddie Van Halen once pointed a gun at Fred Dirt. <laughs> All right. Told you. We're here for. We're here to be informative. <laughs> that's that's funny. If you didn't know that, comment below. I had no idea. Yeah. See, learned something today. Hey, so, uh, what yeah. is it? Why is Eddie Van Halen on your list, dude? Um, just listening to like some of the solos that he used to do, like fifty one fifty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That it was it was awesome. Just listening to him back in the day, and it wasn't like back in the day. There wasn't. Well, I mean, there was a lot of guitarists. Well, we All can, right. We can go with that one too. It's your turn. All right. 
my first guitar player on my list, yes. and it's not in order because I the last one I'm going to do is my number one, but I will tell you, this is my all-time... Well, it is in order because you're going from lowest to highest. Well, my number one is, is, Don't is the last one. Don't, okay. But you probably know what my number one is. Okay. is. Right. But anyways, either way, um, what I'm trying to say is my first one is my all-time favorite, favorite band. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you know you ever say, you know, Rod is your favorite band, you know, and I'm just going to say Black Sabbath. I am a big-time Black Sabbath fan. Tony Iommi. The way I look at it, those are the pioneers of heavy metal. You know, Tony Iommi, Geezer Butler, Bill Ward, and of course, Ozzy Osbourne, mm -hmm. you know. But Tony Iommi, dude, that guy was awesome on the guitar, you know. And, you, you probably know this one, I bet. You know that, uh, he's left, obviously, you know he's left-handed, mm -hmm. but two of his fingers are cut, his tips are cut off. Oh, serious? Oh, wow. And I think that's how... I could be wrong, but I think that's how um, they got their deep sound and stuff mm -hmm. because he had to use um, uh, prosthetics or something. Yeah, or so yeah. He had to do he had to do something with yeah. his fingers huh. because sometimes they would hurt. Yeah, and so he made the strings looser, so he oh, cool. tuned them down oh, I gotcha. yeah. and all that stuff, you know. Yeah. So, but yeah, Tony Iommi is by all means a guitar god. So I remember back when I was in youth group as a teenager, that um, there was two bands that everyone was warning us about. One was Black Sabbath, and the other one was Kiss. Because everyone was like, it's nice and satanic service. And they, oh, I remember and, that, nice and, and satanic. And Ozzy Osbourne bit the head off of a bat. Yeah, but that's not Black Sabbath. What? I know. <laughs> was he in Black Sabbath when he yeah, did that? Yeah, yeah. No, no, he wasn't. What, no, he was... He did that on his first uh, solo tour. On his first solo, okay. Yeah. So this is what I noticed, is when I saw, going back as an adult, I went back and looked at one of Ozzy Osbourne's, like, early videos where it's showing him actually singing, and I looked at him, and I was like, what was the threat here, man? Like, this guy, like, <laughs> he looks like a normal guy. Yeah. It's like, I don't understand what the deal was, but, um, yeah, so anyway. Alright, so that's Doing number two. Yeah, Alright, so what's number your two? What's your next one? <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. Dude, number Jimi two. Hendrix. Number two. That is that is funny, man, that you got Jimi Hendrix. Obviously. Yeah, number six. Yeah. But yeah, what is it about Jimi Hendrix, dude? Dude, everything about Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> dude, that fool. And the thing is, is he really was like a pioneer back then, because he uh you know, Woodstock and then yeah. all that stuff, dude. Um, I heard a story, I don't know if you know about this one or not, about Jimi Hendrix. He was opening for the Beatles. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, yeah he yeah. was opening yeah. for the Beatles. And I think it was a... I, I, I don't know if it was Sgt. Peppers. Was it Sgt. Peppers? It might have been Sgt. Peppers. Anyways, he opened up for the Beatles and he played, instead of doing his set, he did, did their set? He did their set. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Well, before they before yeah. they came on. <laughs> we should look that up, too. Yeah, because that, 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 if that is true, that's hilarious, Oh, yeah, dude. for sure. We should Google that. So, yeah, but I like Jimi Hendrix, of course. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right, well, then my next one, going in that same direction, is... Um, I wasn't raised in Dallas, but I've been here since I was three years old, so this is... You know, my hometown, besides... Number two. <laughs> Do what? Oh, that's number two. Number two. Number two for you. Oh, yeah, 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 number two. You cannot live in Dallas and not hold this man as Texas and Dallas royalty. And that's Stevie Ray Vaughan. Oh, yes. Stevie yes. Ray Vaughan, man. Okay. Yeah. Yes. That's what I was saying, because you picked Jimi Hendrix. Yes. You know, and I'm like, I went with Stevie Ray Vaughan, dude, you know. Dude, uh, we're going to um, we're gonna react to a... Uh... But, uh, yeah, so. All right, so that's Stevie mine. Ray Vaughan. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Okay. All right, number three. 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 Number three. Ready? Yes. Let's see. It's funny, because so far, so far, you've been like, Oh my gosh. Like yeah, yeah. Okay, Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton. Yes. Alright, what is it about Eric Clapton? Don't ask me what. We're 
Well, our video is going too long. Okay. Um, well, I mean, yeah. There's. All right. So just yeah. Eric Clapton. Yeah. All right. So my next one. All right. My. Am I messing this up? Can you hear me? I mean, it's supposed to go five to to one. I, I messed up the numbering. I okay, that's say. fine. All right. So I did Tony Iommi. I did Steve Ray Vaughan, and then my next one. <laughs> I'm surprised he's this, this, you know, but Zach Wild. Zach Wild. Awesome. You may know him from Ozzy Osbourne. So, you know. Gotcha. He was on... Uh, no. So, did Ozzy not take anybody from Black Sabbath? Well, when he toured, he toured with Geezer Butler later on in his solo career, but not right away. Yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, damn. But yeah, Zach Wild, okay. big fan of his. I named my first child after Zach. <laughs> you know, so I'm yeah, a big really? yeah, Zach. My Dude, oldest, must, oh man, my okay. oldest kid's name is Zach. Okay, and, I got you. And that's exactly why you named him that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, awesome. Zach, Zach Wild, dude. Cool. You know, does he know that? Zach, my kids, Zach. Yeah. Oh yeah, we uh -huh. took. I took him to the the Ozzy show. Oh really? Uh, to be like, you know. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, that's way that. awesome. But uh, you know, my. His mom wouldn't let me do the Z-A-K-K. -K. I had to do Z-A-C-K. -A -A really? Yeah. Wait, hold on, wait. What is Zach Wilde spells his name Z-A-K-K. -K. -K. I got you. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We'll All right, so out. who's your next we'll one, dude? You have to look at your phone for it? I do. Why is that? You don't have it memorized? Come no, on, I'm just making sure. Cause... <laughs> All right, my next one is Joe Satriani. Dude. That's... It, it's funny because... In the same sense, we're going same same genres. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah. Because you know, yeah. um, yours was Jimi Hendrix, mine Steve Ray Vaughan. You did uh, again, Cho Satriani. Yeah. 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 Which is my number five. Do what? Which is my number five? Okay. Actually. Oh wait, hold on. No, did he? He might have played with uh, Jimi Hendrix. Oh yeah. wow! But well, right. at the same event. Oh, oh, oh yeah. okay. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe on the same stage at the same time. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. All right. So, Joe, uh, you said Joe Satriani? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Well, my next one is John Petrucci. Okay. You, know, you know who John Petrucci is? Oh. Do what? I know by name. You know by the name, but you don't know who he is? Yeah. Okay. My favorite band, as far as, like, talent, tech, as far as tech, Technicality, technical. technical. Okay, <laughs> I like technical band, you know, because right. that's why when you said Satriani, yeah. it's in that same kind of progressive okay. stuff. Uh, he's in a band called Dream Theater. Oh, okay, there you he, just introduced me to them. Yeah, Dream yeah. Theater. Yeah. yeah, so you know John okay. Petrucci and all right, dude, yeah, he's freaking, he is just a well, badass. That's yeah, why I don't. I just, I just learned about Dream Theater recently, so. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so yeah. Awesome. All right, so who's your all next right. one? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just make sure I get them right, man. That's, that's cool. Santana. Carlos Santana. Dude, when, I was gonna say Santana when you were saying it, but I didn't wanna I didn't wanna I didn't wanna jump ahead, yeah. you know, because yeah. when when you said that they might have played the same stage, I'm like yeah. had to be Santana. Yeah. Cause who else is around back then that's still not, Oh yeah, for sure. You know. Well actually sure. you didn't say anybody current, but still. Wait, are you getting to your number one now? Yeah. Next my next one's my number one. Oh, okay. All right. all right, here you go. And number one. My number one favorite guitarist of all time, and it's just got to be because not only was he extremely talented, but as far as uh, the, the gentleman has passed away, he's been passed away for a very long time, but all the stories and everything I see about all the interviews and everything that I ever hear about this guitar player is he was the most humblest guy yeah, he had, and and he was a very patient person. He was also a teacher, student awesome. and a teacher. And uh, you know, I just was reading something on him today, and and you know how people were talking about how he, 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 he when he taught people, he had a different perspective of it because he he wasn't just let me just show you this and just right, do right, that. Right. He yeah. you know, um, because at one point there's another story I heard which is funny because mm -hmm. he was actually. Eddie Van Halen's competitor back then. Oh, seriously? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember. Yeah, yeah, they were competitors I, back I, then. I'm, I'm doing process elimination because I know earlier I, like, said what I thought that are. Yeah. Yeah yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, just his humbleness, his talent, mm -hmm. you know, um, 
I wish he would have never died in that plane crash because uh, yeah. I no tell him what he would be doing today yeah. if he would have survived or lived, you know. Um, yeah. Randy Rhodes, the late great Randy, Randy Rhodes, dude. Yeah. And I have a picture that somebody gave me years and years ago of his um, his tombstone or whatever in California. Yeah. And it's like a shrine, dude. Yeah. And and they currently they have it now, but it's all caged. Oh really? Yeah, it's all caged, you know. But I have a picture before the cage. Oh, so, that's awesome. Yeah, so the picture I have is just of the of the monument, open, you know. Oh, sorry. So uh, yeah, Randy Rhodes. That's that's my all time favorite guitar player, dude. You said it. Plane crash. And for a second, I thought I was wrong. I thought you were gonna say Richie Valens. <laughs> <laughs> Richie Valens, the competitor to him. <laughs> I'm, <just kidding. laughs> I'm just joking. I'm because that was another thing is he was he was a teacher, yeah. and so like like I said, Eddie Van Halen, they were competitors and stuff, and so you know they kind of had some back and forth, oh, but, yeah. but not much. But oh, they're uh, talking about Ricky Rhodes a lot. Ricky Rhodes. What did I say? What did I say? Ricky Rhodes. Yeah. Randy Rhodes. Randy Rhodes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, I don't know what else again. Put some respect on that man's name. Sorry, I, I said it too before. He didn't. He didn't correct me. Yeah, because I thought you were being sarcastic. Oh yeah, I was, and I didn't realize. I was. <laughs> but anyways, what I was trying to say is, when he was teaching somebody, there's somebody that I even saw the interview with this guy, where he 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 had Randy show him how to play an Eddie Van Halen song, no, oh, really? not knowing that they were. You know, oh, that's funny. Uh, you know, and yeah. so in the interview, the guy was like, "I feel kind of bad now." Oh, yeah. I had him show me how to how to play a Van Halen that's song, funny. and and the guy went and learned, and Randy Rhodes went and learned how to play it, and showed him how to yeah. play. It. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Dude, that's, so yeah, uh, yeah, that that is humble. Yeah, definitely. And he didn't complain about it. You know? Yeah. All right. So who's your all who's right? Your next do you have a number six? Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm good with what I got, dude. Okay. Because those are the main All influential right. ones in my life. I had it too. Oh, I try to get two more. I like these guys. All right. I'm going to be ready for this one. I'm sure I can come up with another one. Tony McAlpine. Tony McAlpine. McAlpine. Yeah. I have no idea who Tony McAlpine is. Cool. <laughs> you seem satisfied. You seem happy about that. No. Well, uh... Hold on, look him up. See if you can. All right. Well. You want my number six, seven? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. One thing that we talked about earlier, well, in our intro video, is the fact that um, I mean, there's new music coming out all the time, and I'm very open to new music. Like I said, I like new <laughs> bands. I like new um, people that come out, and so my next one is Tim Henson with Polyphia. Never dude, heard of look either. that one up. I'm telling you, dude, that guy's. I could like listen to him play for a while, man. Uh, so that's my. He's probably in my top five, actually. I would say. Um, all right, I'm probably gonna get. It. So what's this guy's name? It's uh, Tim Henson. Tim Henson. Polyphia. Not Jim Henson, by the way. That's Muppets. I do like that. That's really cool, man. Yeah. That's really cool. All right, there you All go. Right. That's it. That's our uh, favorite guitars. No, wait. What? Do you want to rank them? Or do you think that's going to be too hard? Okay. Okay, let me see. Ah, oh, dude, should we... Let's do this. Let's do, top, let's do top three. Top three, okay. Yeah, top three out of, out of all. I mean, you know what? I'm going to let you rank them. Okay, I'll rank them and then you rank them. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Oh, man. All right. Top three. Number three, Eddie Van Halen. Okay. All right, you grab one of mine. That's cool. Number two, I'm still going to have to say John Petrucci and number one, Randy Rose. Okay, all right. I just, you can tell I'm more of the yeah, no, really you're rock, good, you're rock good. side. All right, so for me, I want to say so I added I added Carlos Santana. I'm just trying to think of who I could sit and listen to forever. 
Um, and uh, back in the day, like Randy Rhodes, yeah, for sure. I don't know about maybe now. I probably could, but I, it's like I've lost touch with those guys. Like since I've gotten older, listening to like a bunch of different stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 And my my uh, my tastes have gotten really hard. Tokyo, <laughs> Tokyo Pars Hope post hardcore alternative. Okay, anyway, um, I'm gonna go Eddie Van Halen number three as well. Oh wow. I'm gonna go. Carlos Santana. Wow, that high, huh? Carlos. And then I'm gonna go to Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix. Actually, you know what? I want to put. I almost want to put Clapton and, and Santana as a tie. Clapton and Santana as a tie. Yeah. So. Then, All right, you want to do an honor, honorable mention? <laughs> oh, what's your honorable mention? Jimmy Page. Oh yeah. Jimmy Page. Yeah. yeah so yeah, Jimmy Page. I mean, dude. Zeppelin two, Zeppelin four. I mean, those are yeah. m massively big albums. You know, the only thing I don't like about that guy is I can't play his songs in uh, Guitar Center. <laughs> no stairway to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I saw some dude, some YouTube guy, dude, did, did a video where he was all like, "We're gonna see if uh, we can actually play stairway." Oh, to I saw heaven. that one. You saw that yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But they were all actors, dude. They were acting, oh, dude. Sure. They were all like... But it was still funny, though. Oh, for dude, sure. stop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, we're staring at him. Oh, my gosh. Do you Wayne's have honorable... World. Wait, what's... Do you have an honorable mention? No, actually, uh, Tim Henson was my honorable Okay, honorable there mention. you go. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. Well, that's our list, man. Um, yeah. And actually, he would be in my top five, actually. Just because he's... Yeah, badass. Um, so, anyway. Wait till we get to drummers, man. You're gonna like really be surprised at my uh, picks. Really? Um, some might be based on looks. Just kidding. I got some female drummers on there. Can't say. Dude, one. we should do like. Uh, we'll cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind. Nice legs. Oh, and you can drum too. Okay. All right. Well, let's, do we do do an ex? ex what were you just gonna say about drummers? Oh, I wouldn't say anything about drummers. I was going to say we should do like a, uh, I was thinking of, we should do a, a top five current new guitar players. Oh, yeah. And, and maybe top a top five uh, old top, ones. Well, we just did, we pretty much did the old ones. Okay, and the other thing I want to do is fantasy band. What does that mean? If you could put your band together, who would you actually put together? Oh, no shit. So we're going to do that too. We have fantasy football, fantasy baseball, which I'm on both. We're gonna do a fantasy band. And Don't then, even say anything. Yet. But I think I think we also need to do like top five female guitar players. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know. Oh man, I'm gonna yeah. really have to dig in. I, yeah, I'm gonna I, have to dig down for that. I one. got two of them right off the top of my head, dude. Yeah, you know? I'm gonna have to dig in for that one. I but, mean, I've got my drummers picked, but um, but yeah, definitely. You were doing intro. We're not showing this. We're not showing this here. <laughs> we'll pick female singers and guitarists and drummers. Okay, yeah. All right. You want to outro us? Yeah. All right. Well, that's our that's our uh, list of guitar foot players. I've screwed that one up. Once oh, again. you know what though? We're curious what your top five guitarists are. Whether, whatever order, whatever order that they're in. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, do you agree with us? Do you think that we suck? Well, we've already established <laughs> that. But yeah. Um, but. Uh, let us know what your top five guitarists are down below. Don't tell us your top five. Oh, maybe, maybe it's somebody we missed. You know? It could be. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we might have to redo it, our list. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Don't tell us who your top five drummers are, though, because I don't want to be, uh, whatchamacallit, I don't want to be influenced. Influenced, yeah. yeah. We are influencers. We don't want to be influenced. <laughs> All right. But anyway. All right, Rick and Rock Show. Late. Peace out. <laughs>